In this video, I wanna share with you guys three ways why Jeff Bezos is different than any other CEO in the world and how you can learn from those things so you can implement them in your current business or future business. Those of you that are new here, welcome. My name is Bashar Ketu and I'm the founder of BJK University, a company with a mission to impact 1 million lives. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So one of the very first things that we have to all be on the same page of is that Jeff Bezos has really created something completely massive. He has gone into an industry that was stagnant and that was exactly the same for many decades and completely changed it. And that is commerce, you know? He has completely transformed how people do shopping, how commerce is done. I know right now for us, Sometimes I think about what would have happened if Amazon did not exist. Not only my business wouldn't have existed, but my day-to-day -day life would have been completely different. Now you might say, but Bashar, if Jeff Bezos did not invent Amazon, maybe someone else would have. And you're 100% right, but we don't know that. And maybe it would have been different. Maybe it would have completely failed, right? But when you look at how Jeff Bezos has created Amazon and how it has transformed our day-to-day -day lives as we know it, it is really awesome what he's done. So the very first thing that I want to share with you guys today on what he has done that other CEOs have not and, what, and how he implements in his business is that number one, he talks about and he does and makes decisions, especially in the very early on days, based on long-term growth and long-term results um, rather than making short-term, you know, or decisions based on short-term, uh, um, you know, gains, right? In in the um, in his very early on in 1996, when he sent the letter to shareholders, which is he's pretty pretty much famous for really that, um, he simply laid it out, telling them that we're going to continue making decisions based on long-term um, and not sacrifice the the short-term quality, simply because oftentimes what we do is, you know, and I've seen it with CEOs, and I know in my previous businesses as well, personally, I try to, um, you know, to do that and it just didn't work, which I would make decisions based on, you know, profitability today and, and getting results, quick results and short-term results, but that would sacrifice the long-term um, um, you know, making sure that the company would be here 5, 10, 20, 30, 50 years. And so what it means for you as a, a beginner, you know, entrepreneur or somebody wanting to maybe start selling on Amazon, for instance, um, you have to think about the business that you're starting today. It's not a cash cow that needs to generate money so you can take everything and suck the blood out of it and, and simply implement in your life or buy the car or buy the house or do whatever it is that you have to do and think about well, how can I keep pre-investing my money in this business so that way I can keep growing it long term because if I do that in 12, 24, 36 months I will have a business so massive and generates so much profits where then I can take out whatever money I need but today because the profit margins are so little and because, you know, my capital is maybe a little and, and what I'm kind of starting with is little and I need to be making decisions to grow the company in two years, three years, five years from now, make sure that I'm still here. Um, oftentimes we sacrifice that growth because we want that quick turnaround. We want that quick result. We want things to happen today, right now. The very second thing that um, Jeff Bezos has implemented in his business and Amazon that other CEOs have not is the... Um, is, the, is being so centered about and so focused on customer experience versus, um, you know, versus profits. And I've seen this more often than not where CEOs will not really make decisions based on will my customer enjoy what I'm doing? Will my customer really get the result that I'm trying to deliver to them? And instead focus on, is this more profitable? If I do this other thing, will it make me more money? Now, don't get me wrong. It is very important that we do focus on the bottom line and that we do look at our profitability, make sure that we are making money because at the end of the day, why are we even starting these businesses? But you have to be focused on your customer experience because if the customer is not really enjoying your product, is not really having a, a you know, you're not adding value to their life, they will come back and, and number one, 
if you are an Amazon seller, for instance, refund your product and, and, and simply uh, you know, uh, return your product and now you've lost money and, and that product is probably unfulfillable. You can't sell it to another customer. Number two, they can probably leave you a bad review. Uh, and number three, you know, what could actually limit happening is, is the further growth of your business because one of the, the, the things that is often overlooked is the power of, you know, of word of mouth. And oftentimes you probably heard about this channel or you maybe bought the last item you bought or the car or whatever because someone else had per made that purchase or made that, you know, became aware of that thing and then, ex you know, enjoyed it so much and came to you and told you about it. And, and oftentimes, well, not oftentimes, really almost 100% of the times when someone tells you that, hey, this is, you know, I experienced this and it was great, that is just more credibility. You have more of a trust rather than going to something that's completely brand new and you know nothing about it. So it's very important that the decisions you're making in your business, whether if you have a business today, if you're trying to start a business, that you look at, you know, am I providing the best value to my customer? Am I providing the best quality products? Is it the best price? Obviously, making sure that you're also profitable is very important. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button because it really tremendously helps us rank in the algorithm. And again, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, the third and final thing that I want to cover here is that he actually empowers leaders instead of telling people what to do. And this is something that I used to do in my business uh, in my restaurant business, that's why it failed. But I know right now, this is how we run our company, um, is by empowering leaders instead of saying, here's a list of things, here's what I need you to do, go out and do it. And you see, this is important because of two things. Number one, it limits the creativity of people because everybody has a creative part and creative you know, side to them. And if you allow them and if you give them room to work with and become creative, and you empower them to become pre creative, they will become creative and they will come up to the, the task, right? Instead, if you'd say, this is what I need you to do, don't do anything else, it's either my way or it's the highway, this is literally a way to kill people's hopes and to kill people's creativity, and you don't wanna do that because at the end of the day, you're not maximizing their, their potential, right? And you're not getting the most out of them, and if you are a, a, a CEO wanting to, to grow a great company, you want to maximize the most out of all of your partners and all of your employees and all the people that you work with. But when you are telling them, this is how I need you to do it, this is what I need you to do, they're not being creative. And especially if you shut down every time they come back to you with an idea and, 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 and they wanna innovate and change things and say, nope, this is how I do it. And with Amazon, you know, I, I saw an interview um, a few months ago where Amazon is like, you know, my job as CEO isn't to tell people what to do. It's like half of the products that you see right now, half of the things that we have right now going on in Amazon, they were not my ideas, but my job is really to inspire people and to give them resources and provide them with the platform to go out there and innovate, to go out there and, and really try new things. So for you as a beginner, you know, uh, Amazon seller or, or someone wanting to start selling on Amazon or really any business, you want to look at your, your business and say, Today, yes, it's prop. I'm a solo entrepreneur, you know, solopreneur because you know my business not not big enough. But as you start bringing on people, look at hiring st strategically and not hiring employees that you're just going to tell what to do, but more of people that are willing to innovate and willing to try new things and willing to you know change and adapt and and pivot and test, you know, and allow them that space if they if they try something and they completely fail, no problem. Don't say, well, we shouldn't have, you know, and, and talk down at, the, at them. That's not the way to do it. But instead, what do you want to do is you want to say, hey, you know what, it's okay. Let's learn from it. Make sure that we don't, whatever mistakes we made, that we don't do them in the future. And then let's keep going. Let's keep innovating. Let's keep trying new things, right? And support every single decision that they make. And those could be people that are running your PPC campaigns. Those could be people lo looking for products for you. Those could be people, you know, talking to suppliers and negotiating and doing all these kinds of things so that you can build your powerhouse and keep scaling your company. Outside of that, guys, hope you've enjoyed this video so far. Below this video, there is also a link to a short presentation that'll walk you through how BJK University can really help you through finding the right product, launching it on Amazon and scaling it from there. So if you're interested in selling on Amazon, I'd highly suggest you click on that link. Outside of that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.